So I have an object and what I'd like to do is record how fast it's going. And one way that we can actually get some very good measurements is to use a light gate. So this thing here is a light gate and this video really describes how they can be used and there's different ways that we can do that. Uh, basically what we have inside it is a small uh, infrared uh, light source and then we have a sensor at this end. And basically what we do is this allows us to detect um, an infrared signal between these two things. When we put something in the middle, what we then do is we interrupt that signal. So this thing here is the light gate. Next up, I have my data logger. And basically this thing here is what we connect the light gate to. So at the end of the light gate, uh, there's just this uh, connection here. We put the light gate into the, the data logger. And then this data logger, we can then connect using another cable into uh, your computer or whatever kind of thing you actually can record in the data on. So basically, uh, there's this box of magic tricks. This goes off to your computer and the computer can then record uh, what's happening at the light gate itself. So the light gate really only tells you the time that the signal is interrupted for, but that doesn't necessarily give you the velocity. And there's various ways that we can do this. You can basically use one light gate uh, set up to measure time, perhaps set up, to, set up to measure velocity, or you can always use two light gates to look at the time between them. So first of all, let's imagine we had one light gate and we have our object that moves through the middle. Now, if you have an object like this and it moves through the middle, um, it can't really tell you the velocity of the object. What we need then is a piece of card to actually interrupt the signal. So here I have what we call the interrupt card. Now when it comes to setting up the sensor, uh, what you can then do is input this data into the, the actual kind of setup on the software that you have. And what happens now is that if you have this card uh, and it interrupts the, the light beam for a certain amount of time, if it knows the, the distance of the card, it knows the time that it's been interrupted for, it can then work out the velocity. So you can use one light gate to work out the average velocity of an object as it moves through that light gate. There's another way that we can use one light gate, and this allows you to actually look at the acceleration of that object. So this time I've taken the same card, but I've cut it in two places. So what we can do is if we make sure that these distances are both the same, perhaps 30 millimeters, uh, as the card goes through the light gate, uh, and maybe this object is accelerating perhaps, it can look at the time that it interrupts for the first 30 millimeters, and then it can record the time again for the second 30 millimeters. What this allows you to do then is uh, maybe look at how an object is accelerating, because if it's getting faster and faster, it's going to spend less time as it goes through the second piece of card. Obviously, the, the disadvantage of this method is that if you've got a smaller distance, there's going to be a greater uncertainty in the timing, because any uh, errors in the timing are going to be you know, a larger proportion of the time for which we're, which we're timing. So basically, we can use one light gate to look at maybe the acceleration of an object. And the final way that we can maybe look at objects moving is perhaps if you have two light gates. And what we can then use is basically the light gate, not so much as uh, something which records the velocity of an object, but perhaps it acts as a timer. So you might have two light gates set up. You allow uh, something to move between them, and then you can maybe have uh, light gate number one uh, starting this timer and light gate number two stopping it. So basically that's it. These are light gates. They have a small infrared beam that is broken. Uh, the computer will time how long it takes for that beam to be broken uh, to maybe allow you to work out the velocity of an object, perhaps its average velocity or how the velocity changes. Or you can use two of them to basically act as like an on and off switch for a timer. So uh, light gates are really useful because they allow you to have a really, really uh, high sort of precision in the, and therefore a low uncertainty in the time values that you record. There's no human error and you can take multiple readings very quickly. So I, uh, I hope that helps. Thank you.